Alright, you guys, I want to go ahead and repeat our icon about our small group read, read aloud. So, icon. I can read, read with fluency, with fluency in a small group, in a small group, and summarize, and summarize as, as I determine, I determine main ideas, main ideas and details, and details. A good reader, the first thing I would do is go ahead and preview and predict. So I'd like you guys to go ahead and open your book and preview and predict. And so I'm going to give you about thirty seconds to do that. Because it should be pretty obvious. So by looking at the text, is this fiction or nonfiction? Nonfiction. Um, that's very good. It's also called this expository text or informational text. What's this going to be about? Okay. Start on Okay, so Tiffany, um, it's actually not going to be about volcanoes. It's going to be about what? Storm. What storm. particular type of storm? Storm. storm? Okay, very good. So it's going to give us a lot of background and details. As you can see, it's going to fill us in in each detail. So let's go ahead. As we're reading, we're going to summarize and look for vocabulary keywords. Um, as we go through, um, and you don't have, if you didn't come equipped with a pen or pencil, we can kind of make note and at least um, kind of indicate page numbers to ourselves. Um, on this particular assignment, what you will do is you're going to choose the words that are on the text and you'll put the page along with the chapter, the term, and then the textbook definition. You're also going to use it in your own words. Um, if, like I said, if you didn't come equipped with something to write with, it's okay because we can write it later on. So go ahead, Marquita. A good way to remember you guys, you track, you're looking for your definitions. You're continuing to summarize, uh, so go ahead and let's start reading. Make sure we read captions as well. Imagine a stormy st storm. Imagine. Imagine you are on the beach on a very windy day. Large waves splashing into the shore. It's, it's that so, suddenly. suddenly. So let's go ahead and track. It's okay. Suddenly the sky falls with dark clouds, the winds below. More strongly and heavy rain starts to fall. Keep going. Winds and waves. The wind the winds grow strong and stronger. It is hard to walk against the wind. Trees, branches, garbage cans, and roofs shingles fly through the air. The sun, the sea level raises. Right, raises quickly, hugs huge, huge waves, surge, surge, and then the smash, the smash into houses, wash away cars, and dump boats on the land. It is chaos. Chaos. Everywhere you are in the middle of the hurricane. Yep, destruction. And then also, let's make sure that we do um, observe the captions. All right. Terrifying weather. Last, last for many hours. The hurricane destroyed its both things in its path. There's terrible flooding. Winds then start to cut down. A few hours later, the sky is blue. You see it's calm. The trail of destruction is. So wind speed, make sure we get that. A hurricane can grow to hundreds of miles across. Near its center, the winds can blow more than 150 miles or 240 kilometers per hour. Hurricane Bonnie arrives at Wilmington Beach, North Carolina in 1998. The one thing I'll let you guys know, and this is prior knowledge of mine, they always give a hurricane a specific name, and it'll go through all the letters of the alphabet. So they're each named with a personalized name, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if it would have all of our names, especially like mine, but sometimes they do choose unique names. They might do Maurice, because that is a little more common, or Jalen, um, perhaps Tiffany, but I haven't really heard those ones, so that goes through a lot of different names. All right, go ahead. Hurricane is hot spots. Lucky. You will probably never be in a hurricane. A hurricane is a huge, swirling storm. Inside are very strong winds, a 
and rains. Meteorologist. 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 Call these storms tropical storms. A tropical storm becomes a hurricane when the wind is inside. It blows fast than 73 miles, 118 kilometers per hour. Maurice, can you draw a connection between what you just read and maybe something we've studied in class? Marquita, help him out. A tropical storm becomes a hurricane and it will go faster than 73 miles an hour to 18 miles per hour. So, with that being read, what have we discussed in class previously? Tropical, tropical yeah. storm. Like, so tropical zone. Tropical. And in the tropical tropics, storm, right? right? Connect back to the whole year as a whole. We've learned about our tropics, right? We've learned about the tropical zone and continents, right? And we're looking at our oceans. So now you kind of have an idea visually in your mind of where these occur. Continue. Hurricane's hot spot. Luckily, you will probably never be be in a hurricane. This is because hurricanes only happen in a few parts of the world. They form over very warm seas and oceans in the tropics. This is why they are called tropical storms. Hurricanes move away from the equator until they hit colder water or land, then they die away. Okay, and maybe you guys are wondering a little bit um, why things are a little bit different in your books. There's actually two versions of this book. So we actually had two editions that were purchased. So if it's a little bit different, um, that's why. So Maurice, I can switch off with you so you have the correct one. And sorry to have done that, so that's why. Go ahead and pick up the read, Tiffany. Different names. Strong tropical storms in the Arctic Ocean and the... Atlantic on? Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea are called hurricanes. Storms that form in the western North Pacific Pacific Ocean and the China Sea are called tapping st storms typhoons. Typhoons storms in the Indian Ocean and Ar Arctic are called tropical cyclones. Cyclones. Cyclone. Everything we say about hurricanes is true for typhoon and typhoon, typhoon and cyclone. Cyclones too. Oh, and it's a it's a uh, yeah. We should go back. Yeah. yeah. What vocabulary word did you see? Cyclone. Cyclone and typhoon. You guys and those are similar, and those do kind of tip us off. All right, let's read about the great storm. Two. Go ahead and um, read that as well. I like how you're finding them. That's really good, Tiffany. And Jamea, I see you, you getting them down as well. Good readers always summarize you guys, and a matter of summarizing is pulling a main idea and providing details. Mm -hmm. I always think of a summary as being the short and sweet. Like, if I'm going to watch the whole movie, tell me about the movie in a couple sentences when I go on, like, on demand. Like, what does it say that the movie's about? That's how I treat a summary in a book. The Great Storm. The Great Storm is... Southern Britain, 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 in 1987, above 15 million trees were blown down. That is a tremendous amount, so you guys can kind of see the, the velocity and, and, like, the energy that comes with that storm. That's a large amount of trees. What if we got a meteorologist in top of it? Yep. Meteorologist, now that um, would be somebody that gives the weather, so we have each um, connection there. Like if I'm watching the news, that's a media connection because I see a meteorologist um, on the news. Hurricanes, hurricanes come at any time of the year. These are called hurricanes. In the northern hemisphere, <laughs> hurricane season lasts from winter to November. These are the sea, the summer and autumn months by June. The sea has warmed up enough for hurricanes to develop. For the southern here. Summer and autumn are between November and May. This is the hurricane season there. Hurricane Hugo. In 1989, Hurricane Hugo started in the Atlantic Ocean. 
it hits parts of South Carolina and is badly damaged this trip. All right, so you guys, let's um, kind of give a little summary, and if somebody would like to summarize the passage for me, um, go ahead, Jalen, you can start, and then Marquita to add in. So let's summarize what we've read so far. So, <laughs> so that's a great piece to follow. Hurricanes are damaging. There's a particular season. What else? 